Hey Rebel Riser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy and thank you so much for joining me for it. So here in the United States it is Labor Day which is a holiday set aside to recognize the economic and societal achievements of the average American worker which is something that <laughs> has had to be fought for very, very hard over the course of the centuries. And I'm not just talking about getting a holiday to recognize this, but I'm talking about things that relate to being able to control the conditions of one's work as much as possible. A fair wage for one's work, the hours and the safety for the working conditions, things like child labor laws, which are currently under assault in the U.S. too. And two of the most important tools that American workers have had to help improve the conditions of their work are unions and strike actions. Which brings us to talking about the WGA strike and the sag after strike going on right now. One of the things that is in contention over the strike against the studios is AI technology and how that's going to be used with writers, how it's going to be used with actors. And it got me to thinking about Cassie Nandor and Nemec's conversation in the Eldani arc of Andor, when Cassian's looking at that navigational tool Nemec's working with and says, yeah, it's an old one, and Nemec says, yeah, but you know, you can fix everything on it yourself, and it can't be jammed or intercepted, and once you've mastered it, you're free because we as a society, according to him, the just galactic society, have become too reliant on imperial technology and it makes people vulnerable as a result. And if you wanted to draw a real world parallel, well, it's not really... It's not really difficult to find one. I mean, this podcast is being recorded on an iPhone, for example. So yeah, if there was an example of imperial tech... <laughs> right there. I mean, yeah, it doesn't get any more obvious than that. And historically speaking, when we've seen technological advancements happen, it's often governments and corporations that are driving these advancements and are generally working to derive the greatest benefit from these advancements and not necessarily with an eye toward the greatest good for the greatest number. So yeah, <laughs> that's what we're dealing with with AI and that's what we're dealing with with the writers and the actors on strike against the studios because there's every reason to believe that the studios will do this for their own shareholders benefit and not for the benefit of the writers and actors that actually create the value of these corporations for them. And that put me in mind of a couple of Nemec's manifesto lines when Cassian is reading his manifesto later on in the series. One of them being, uh, remember that the frontier of the rebellion is everywhere and even the smallest act of insurrection pushes our lines forward. And I think about that in terms of strike actions that are being carried out by the WGA and by SAG-AFTRA. And the other line is the imperial need for control is so desperate because it is so unnatural. Tyranny requires constant effort. It breaks, it leaks, authority is brittle, oppression is the mask of fear. And that feels very much like the position that the studios are in right now in this whole process, even though it is such a small fraction of the income of these companies that writers and actors are asking for. And, you know, yes, there are some very highly paid writers, some very highly paid actors, but we're not talking about those folks because by and large, the majority of writers and actors are not getting those kinds of wages. They are getting wages that require them to have a second job in order to pay their rent, pay their bills, and so forth. So as far as my own podcast here and my feeling of solidarity with the writers and the actors on strike, I consider this podcast to be its own little you know, bubble of insurrection, <laughs> as it were. And I will keep talking about strike stuff here and there as we go through, but we do also have a lot of Star Wars storytelling to enjoy and a lot that is not affected by the strike too, which we will get to be able to enjoy talking about in the coming months as well. But that is what I wanted to highlight for you on Labor Day. It seemed like a very appropriate time to talk about this stuff. And that is gonna do it for this episode of the podcast. It just remains for me to say, thank you so much for joining me for it as always. And may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Now 
7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited by their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyrighted by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.